Hi YouTube, I'm back with another quick video and I am going to talk about my Rogue collection. Now at one time I had 25 Rogues and most of them were in the size 25. Um, that is not the smallest size, there's still a mini size below that. And then of course they, they have the Rogue Charm now too. But um, out of the 25, 22 of them were Rogue 25s. And then I had three of the Rogue shoulder bag styles. I decided to sell all of them, except for the Rogue shoulder bag. And I kept that style because it is lighter weight and it fits so comfortably under my arm. I like the strap drop better and it's a little bit more slender. And so, and then uh, the final thing that I love about them is the C-chain that is part of the strap. So many coach lovers want to get the infamous C-chain. Um, it's just basically a link chain with letter C's and brass, and also they make one in gunmetal, and people just go gaga over those and will pay like $200 to get one. So this is a way you can get a little bit of C-chain in your collection for potentially a lot less money because these bags don't sell for quite as high of prices on the pre-owned market as like a regular Rogue 25 would. Um, I have four of them and I would say most of what you might be able to find is going to be the grained leather. It's more durable than what I have, but I like text, I like tactile uh, sensation. I like feeling the bags and feeling how soft they are, feeling how smooth they are. And for me, most of the time, I don't like grain leather as much as some of the other options. And so I'm going to start first with the one that I have in the color Ivy. It is not super common. It has gunmetal hardware and it, you can see here it has the C chains on both of the straps. The straps are not detachable. I have it accessorized here with a little three-dimensional T-rose with pearls. And then one of the really pretty things about this bag is the, I don't know if this is the correct color name, but it's like a mint and it has a floral bow interior and it is also smooth leather in there. The center compartment of the Rogue shoulder bags is very similar to the center compartment on the regular Rogues. It has a nice, um, fabric in there and that's where I put my stuff. I don't really put it in the outer pockets because I worry that I will get indentations on the outside. But I love that this leather slouches and smooshes and I love the way it feels. So that's why when I sold 22 of my 25 rogues, I kept the rogue shoulder. And at the time, I'm not even sure that um, I had all three of these because I think I, ha I picked up a couple of them after the big exodus of Rogues. Um, my second one I want to show you is my Heather Gray. And this one was a little harder to find than even the Ivy. I've got it accessorized with a clochette. This doesn't come with it. And a little, if you can see it, a little Rexy hanging from the clochette. Um, the interior of this one is like a, I believe it is an oxblood suede. It feels delightful as well. It has the gunmetal C's on it. And then I forgot to mention, they all have feet on the bottom. And I believe all of mine have this strip between the feet, which indicates that it's an earlier generation. And I do prefer that. The third one I'm gonna show you, and just let me tell you this, I'm foreshadowing. I'm saving the best for last. This one is my Beechwood Color Block Rogue shoulder bag. It has chalk on the sides. It has light saddle on the straps. It has golden sea chain. And the interior is a, um, I think this is Bordeaux or wine, a smooth leather Bordeaux or wine for the side pockets. And again, it's got the strips between the feet. And last but not least, I do wanna show you kind of my crown jewel of my Rogue collection, or at least what is left of it. This is my Oxblood Rogue shoulder bag. It has rivets, it has 
a beautiful 1941 tag that has a tea rose on it. I've accessorized it with this little bell tea rose that has, I believe it's like a peony color on it with oxblood on the inside of the petals. And this one also has oxblood smooth leather on the interior as well as it has the feet. And if you look closely at the details on this bag, they are gorgeous. I don't know if that's gonna focus or not, but there are little tea roses there for the rivets. So that is, that. those are my four Roke shoulder bags. Let me just show you, um, see the drop? See how far down from my shoulder they go? They just sit so comfortably on the shoulder. And I'm telling you, I don't know how they make them so much more lightweight than the regular Rogue 25s and then even more than the 30s because the 30s are substantially heavier than the 25s. I am going to attach at the end of this video pictures of my collection. It kind of evolved over time, so I'm going to put a couple different group shots in so you can see some of the Rogue 25s I had. But I don't regret selling them. They are great bags. They're extremely well made. But these, for me, are just much more user friendly. I love the sea chain part on them. I love how light they are and I love how they feel on my shoulder. And for me, most of the time, I do not carry bag top handle except for just to grab it and go out of the car. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this quick video. And if you did, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.